Welcome student to the lesson of solving linear inequalities and now we will do in this video two examples that we need to do them with a very big caution. Something strange will happen, those are very isolated case but we at least we need to see how we deal with them and what they all about. Well, the first one looks a very simple straightforward inequality. We have two x minus 2 greater than 2x plus 6. Now, the first step as usual, we open the brackets. So we get 2x minus 4 greater than 2x plus 6. Now, as usual, we bring all the number together. So we get 2x minus 2x greater than 6 plus 4. Now, 2x minus 2x, this is 0 greater than 10. Well, first of all, we notice something. x has disappeared. And that's what I said, it's a caution. There is no x anymore. There is only two numbers, and we are comparing them. We are saying that we end up with 0 greater than 10. This is, we know, it is always, always false. Now, when, some, when we are trying to solve inequality or an equation or anything that is always false, we stop and directly we say, there is no solution to this inequality. That's when we get all false. When we are going to get all false, first of all, there is no x. Second of all, we get a false statement, statement that is always false. Zero is not greater than 10. That's what we need to do as a caution. Now, how do we write it in the usual way? What will be the solution set if there is no solution? Well, if there is no solution, you open your brackets and you write nothing inside it because there is no solution. Now, sometimes we write this one as empty set this is called empty set empty set means no solution nothing there nothing can be used well how about the number line well let's try to do the number line the same way we did before for the number line i need to find a number and then i need to shade somewhere but there is no number there is no solution so in short there is no shading it's a number line which I cannot shade anywhere. So an empty line, just a line like this. Well, for the interval notation, of course, I don't start because there is no shading, nothing. The answer will be, again, the empty set. So the interval notation will be something like this. Nothing. Empty set. That is when we get no x and the statement's always false. Now, let's see another example, which looks, again, a normal example of solving inequality. And let's see what we are going to have. First of all, we need to open the brackets. So we get 2x plus 6 is then 2x plus 10. Now, take all the x's together, all the numbers together. We get 2x minus 2x less than 10 minus 6. Again, we get 0 less than 4. Now, this statement has no x and it is always true. No x and always true. So, no x here. No variable and always two. Now, in this case, what will be the solution set? Here in this case, all real numbers are solutions. There is not only one, everything is solution, everything will work. That's only happened because we have no variable and whatever we get is two. So everything is a solution. What do you mean by everything is a solution? It means if you have the number line, 
like this, you need to shade it all because all the numbers are included. Just go ahead and shade as much as you want. From the beginning to the end, everything you shade it. Which means, if we do it as interval notation, you start from negative infinity and you end up in positive infinity. Everything is included. And finally, if you write it as solution set, you write it as x, where x is any number. Usually, if we have this situation, we write the notation for the real number, which is just all like this. And that's the second case. So, in short, inequality might have a solution, normal solution, x equals greater than 7, x is then or equal to 2. Or, we might have no solution at all, and this happens if we have no variable at the last step, and the whatever we get in the last step is always false. Or, all the numbers are solution when there is no variable at the last step, and the statement is true. In that case, all numbers are solution. Thank you for watching.